Hello, Mr. G. The G is not for Google, but it fits. And here you're gonna learn how to create a picture frame or photo overlay for your avatar. Okay, so right here, if you're watching directly from YouTube, I'm gonna ask you to go to mrg.fyi slash frame. And that is going to take you directly to the photo overlay website or web page that is. And as you scroll down, you're gonna see this video and you're gonna see two options. Either you get the ring or the eclipse frame. I prefer the ring. I'm going to select, from here you select your certification. So I'm a Google for Education certified trainer. But, oh, by the way, the green one, you do not have to be certified for that one. That one, anybody that is looking for any certification can use it. But I'm gonna choose le uh, level two because to be a trainer or an innovator, level two is required. Once I have level two certification, uh, over here it says use template. So I'm gonna click on use template up there. Now that this has loaded, there's a picture right here that I'm gonna have to either replace or remove. In this case, I'm gonna remove it. Make it easy for everybody to figure out what they're gonna do, especially with the photo that I'm gonna be using. Okay, so a few problems. If you delete this one by mistake, the actual frame, or you resize it, or you move it by mistake, then the best thing to do is to hit the undo button. And we need to stay within the boundaries right here. These boundaries all around are there for a reason. If you go outside of the boundary, the picture will not be shown. If the boundary is not covered, any part that is not covered within the boundary will be white. So for example, if I save it like that, this portion right here will be white. And so will this portion inside. So what I'm gonna do is instead, I'm going to undo, undo, undo there we go until it has completely covered those boundaries now the next thing i need to do is make sure that uh, i have a picture and i just want to make sure that everything is perfect all's well i'm going to insert an image and i'm going to upload it from my computer and here it is. Now that I have selected an image and it's ready to go, I'm going to crop the image. And I could just resize it until it fits, but that's going to take forever. So I'm going to double click on the image and you will see these crop lines appear. Now, Notice that if I move the crop lines, it actually crops the image. However, if by mistake you move one of those blue squares, it's going to resize the image. So make sure that, let me undo here. Let, make sure that if you by mistake select one of those blue buttons, you undo. And try again to make sure that you're only selecting those crop lines okay so by the way hashtag rgb edu chat if you're watching this hello now that i have cropped the image to the part of the photo that i want i can start resizing i'm going to resize based on this right here there's this border this border so it's actually closer to this, this one down here, and obviously this one right here. Okay, so those are the borders that I need to go past or beyond. If I stay within those borders, chances are that it's not going to work. Uh, some of the white space is going to appear. So my goal here is to stay within those borders. Or rather, 
outside of those borders, not within. So right here, for example, I want to make sure that it's right above it and to the left. From there, I'm going to resize the image so it's only me showing. And remember, it's at least that border. If you go beyond, even better. Now that I have the image more or less where I want it, what I need to do is hold the control key and press the down arrow button. And it's going to show more or less where it is. Now, the good thing about being outside of the border is that you can continue resizing. However, if you are not able to resize it because it's behind this image, what I'm going to do is hold Control and down and it'll move that image. Then I can select this image, hold Control and down and it'll move back that image. Now, looks like everything is great. I just need to move this image a little lower and maybe make it a little larger. Lower there perfect now i have something that i like now i can use this so the next thing i can do is go to file download as jpeg and or png it doesn't matter but that's the main thing here so when i preview it and everything looks seems to be okay yep everything's fine after I preview it, it's ready to go. Now, if by any chance um, you have any questions or you need help, let me know. I have provided a portion right here that it says contact me by Twitter. If you need any help, I'll be more than glad to help you. I'll be more than happy. So, so check out my podcast, Aced.com or look at my uh, blog, edugoogdroid.com. And if you have any questions, just reach out to me. I'm Mr. G. Cheers.